Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and today I am bringing to you a tag video. So this is the Time for Tea and Books tag. I saw this done uh, by Trisha at Tell Her A Story, so I'll link her video down below. Um, I believe the original creator was, was Beth at Butterfly Elephant Books, so if I can find her video I'll link that down below as well. So this tag brings together two of my favourite things which are tea and books so I'm really looking forward to answering some questions on those for you. So question one is choosing your tea. What kind of genres do you tend to lean towards and what kind of tea? So for tea I mainly drink black tea. Um, I have a lot of loose leaf tea. I quite like loose leaf. One of my friends works for a tea company and gets me loads of uh, freebies so I have a lot of loose leaf tea. Um, I also try and drink at least one, one cup of green tea a day um, because it's really good for me. I like sort of the slightly flavoured uh, black teas like Earl Grey. I also quite like Darjeeling. I'm a bit of a tea snob. <laughs> and so for books, my go-to genres are science fiction, fantasy, uh, classics, historical fiction mainly. I do read quite widely, but those are the sort of my go-to genres. Question two is hot water. What books made you feel gripped by the main character's plight and do you prefer hot or iced tea? So I definitely prefer hot tea. I don't mind iced tea in the summer um, if, I'm, if I'm out somewhere and buying it, but um, at home I'll really only drink hot tea. And for the book, I'm picking Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Um, I finished this this morning. I read the majority of it in one sitting. I'd been dipping in and out through the week, but uh, just sat in bed this morning and didn't get up until I'd finished it because I just had to know what happened, I had to get to the end. I won't go into too much detail here because I've just filmed a spoiler free review of this so I'll link that down below if I've posted it before I post this, I'm not quite sure what order I'm posting them yet, but I'll definitely put the link for that one up. Question three is brew time. What book improved for you through reading or rereading and do you have milk in your tea? So I don't have milk in my tea. I used to until a couple of years ago I went on a trip to Moldova to do some volunteering work and I was only there for two weeks but we didn't really have that much access to milk. If we did it was either straight from the cow or UHT and neither of them taste very nice in tea so um, and as I say we didn't always even have those so for the two weeks that I was there I just got used to drinking my tea black and when I came home and was given a cup of tea with milk and I took one sip and I was like oh I can't drink that um, so I, I haven't had milk in my tea since and for a book that improved on rereading for me um, I picked Mansfield Park by Jane Austen I first read this about 10 years ago and didn't really enjoy it it was my least favourite of all of her books I found the characters a bit annoying didn't understand or didn't really appreciate the storyline but I reread this a couple of months ago and I absolutely loved it this time around. I found Fanny Price a much more likeable character, I understood her a bit better being a bit older and wiser myself, I could appreciate her character traits a lot more um, and I could understand why she made the sort of the decisions she made and how overbearing the rest of the family were really to her. So this book definitely improved for me on rereading. Question four is milk and sugar. What are your favourite actual and accidental bookmarks and one lump or two? So I don't actually take any sugar in my tea. I will occasionally have honey in there or maybe a bit of lemon juice, particularly if, um, if I'm feeling ill, if I've got a cold, then honey and tea is really good for that. And sometimes I have honey in my green tea as well. But yeah, generally I just have it plain, just, just black tea on its own. And for bookmarks, so my favourite actual bookmark is this little guy here with an elephant on him and he's a foldy over bookmark. So you can see that the other side has this little elephant bottom on him. Um, but I actually don't use this one anymore because it's getting slightly battered from overuse. So he's actually been retired now and just generally sits on my shelf. Um, for accidental bookmarks, I often find that if someone's given me a book for my birthday or for Christmas and it's got a gift tag with it, if I start reading it quite soon afterwards I'll be using the gift tag as a bookmark initially so that's quite fun because it reminds me when I'm reading it of who's given it to me so I quite like that. Question five is the perfect tea set. Do you like to display your books or keep them a secret and do you have a favourite mug or tea set or teapot? So I have a couple of favourite mugs, in fact I have quite a lot of favourite mugs but I've just selected two to show you today. Um, I have quite an extensive mug collection um, at some point when I've had a chance to tidy up a bit I might do a little apartment tour and I'll show you um, some of my collection but for now I'll just limit it to two of my favourites. So the first one is my travel mug that I use every day. It's a keep cup 
so it's a really good little travel mug and this one is a Star Wars one it's based on BB-8 so I really love this I have a little uh, filter that sits inside there so I can use it for loose leaf tea as well I really love this little mug one of my favorite regular mugs is this one which you may not be able to see very clearly but it is a tube map mug only instead of it being the actual tube it's all different Shakespeare characters and all the lines represent different types of character so um, you have fools, lovers, mothers, fathers and daughters, villains, heroes, strong and difficult women is probably my favourite and then it's got different symbols on it as well that you'd find on the underground things like baby changing facilities, uh, unisex toilets um, it's my favourite one and those are often at the stations that are characters known for cross-dressing so it's a very clever little mug and that's yeah definitely one of my favourites I bought from the Royal Shakespeare Theatre. In terms of displaying my books I do have them all out on bookshelves and um, those are upstairs in my study and at some point when again my apartment's a bit tidier I will um, actually hopefully have my filming set up in the study in front of my bookshelves but as I say at the moment that room is definitely not in a fit position to be filmed in um, so maybe one day yeah I'd like to have them in in my living room um, but actually there's not there's not wall space in here because I've got all my DVD collection in here so they look really nice where they are in my study and um, but as I say that room is not ideally set up at the moment yeah I like to go in there and just look at them sometimes then I do take regular shelfies which I will often post on Twitter so question six Sip and sigh. Is there a favourite book that makes you feel immediately cosy and do you have a favourite setup for drinking tea? So most of my my tea drinking occurs on this sofa. Yeah, when I'm watching TV or reading a book, I've got a little table next to it that my uh, phone is set up on on my tripod. And so that's where my mug will sit when I'm drinking tea and reading my book. And I've also got uh, a couple of cushions and a blanket that I can wrap around me and it's just quite a little cosy little seat. I struggled to think of a book for a while because there were so many that I could have picked but um, in the end I've gone for Austin Land by Shannon Hale. This is a fun little comedy romance story inspired by uh, the novels of Jane Austen. It follows Jane who is completely in love with Mr Darcy and she takes a holiday to um, an Austen themed holiday in, um, in England. Uh, so she stays in a stately home only she um she can only afford the most basic package so she doesn't get all the frills of some of the other guests but it's just really entertaining lots of laughs in there there's also a sequel called midnight in austin land which was in some ways even funnier and really enjoy both of these novels if i ever need a bit of a pick me up then these are some of the ones i go to and there is also a film of austin land as well um which is hilarious so do go and check out both those books and the film. And question seven, another cup. What is your current read and how often do you drink tea? So at the time of filming I have just started Lila by Marilyn Robinson. This is the third book in the Gilead series. Um, I've only read a couple of pages so far um, but I've really um, got quite high expectations because I love the first two books so much so really looking forward to finishing off this one and um, I do drink quite a lot of tea. I have cut down a bit recently so I will have maybe four or five cups a day. As I said one of those will probably be green tea and in the evenings um, I would tend to have maybe a, an infusion or a red bush tea um, rather than black tea so that it doesn't affect my sleeping too much. So that's it for the tea and book tag. Um, it doesn't say to tag anyone so if you love tea as much as me and would like to have a go at this tag then I'd love to hear your answers. If you'd like to chat to me in the comments if you've read some of these books or like some of these teas um, please let me know and if you haven't done so already please uh, like and subscribe um, and you can follow me on my social media as well all those links will be down below. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!